my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus once it happened that a blind girl was studying in the school in the general class some day they had the gym hour and after that she went to the locker room getting ready for the next class hour all of a sudden the electricity failed and all the lights went off all the girls screamed this blind girl did not understand so she asked the girl next to her what happened she said the lights are off we cannot see anything at that time this blind girl turns towards her friend and tells don't worry you hold on to my hand i will lead you out this was a great experience for the girls who were studying with this blind girl to realize that she may be blind but she is not disabled they see things in a totally different way with different parameters which perhaps we don't see this is a great experience today we were listening to an experience of a man born blind sitting on the wayside and begging and he comes to realize things totally different way than other people realized as we know there are different blindness in life there can be physical blindness lack of seeing power of the eyes there can be also mental blindness rational and emotional blindness there can be also spiritual blindness in today's gospel story we find jesus healing a blind man from his physical blindness and eventually leading him to get rid of all the other blindness of a mental blindness rational blindness and emotional blindness and also spiritual blindness in this process jesus tries to take off the blindness not only of this blind man but also other characters that are involved in this great gospel incident our physical blindness if it is inborn we seem to think that that was a manufacturer defect but if it is an acquired blindness we know it is an incidental blindness through an accidental event or misfunctioning of something in our life our inner blindness comes out from three different causes first one could be ignorance unless we open ourselves to the truth try to accept it we keep a kind of an intellectual negation towards that it creates a rational blindness within us disciples asked jesus rabbi who sinned himself or his parents that he becomes blind the very question involves a kind of a blind attitude namely definitely it must be a sin of someone why this man happened to be blind this is where jesus questions them it is not his sin or his parents sin why he is blind but for god's works may be revealed in him the very question is very disjunctive namely there is a kind of a deep rooted prejudice blindness jesus tells them you are not asking the right question the very premise is wrong often we happen to hold on to some kind of a deep rooted attitudes of untruth and we don't allow ourselves to get opened based on that truthless reality we begin to build castles of our imagination the second cause of inner blindness is perhaps cynicism 
we have got a kind of deep rooted prejudice about other people they people begin to think that others are wrong they don't do these things correctly they are always in fault so they cannot see anything good in a person about whom they have got this prejudice or cynic cynical attitude they said jesus is not observing sabbath he is a sinner already they have come to their conclusion then they couldn't see anything good or right in what jesus is doing some others said if he is a sinner how can he do these miracles still their understanding is that he is a sinner then how could he do that that is their doubt the third cause of the spiritual blindness will be hard heartedness some kind of fundamentalistic attitude towards others and other religions other styles and other thinking patterns the pharisees and teachers repeatedly asked this blind man who was cured how did it happen he explained it again and again and still they were not ready to accept it or felt happy about it they said he does not follow the moses law we are the disciples of moses we don't know where does he come from namely even after watching and realizing that there is something miraculous happened which usually an ordinary person cannot do they are not ready to accept him because of their hard heartedness in a hard heart it is very difficult for god to work this miracle worked by jesus has been narrated very dramatically by john not only just to help us to understand how his physical blindness was cured but how the mental and spiritual blindness are taken off and that is where perhaps john's concentration goes in narrating the details of this incident it also shown the stubbornness of pharisees unable to see this son of man doing something of divine power but they could not accept their blindness and correct it Jesus tested this man's obedience and faith. Clay with spittle is not a usual remedy for blindness. But Jesus did it and smeared it on his eyes and asked him to go and wash and come. This poor beggar, the blind person, took on himself every word that was told by Jesus and he went to the pool and washed. he came to see that sight was a kind of a greater revelation in his life to see something the world which they never saw should have been a miraculous experience for a blind man john howard griffin a famous author and a social worker once made himself as black or he disguised himself as black and toured through the southern part of america just to see how it will be like to be a black man in those days of a racial discrimination and he wrote all his experience in a book titled black like me but john howard griffin had a different powerful powerful experience back in his life namely during the world war second in an airplane crash he lost his sight he lived for 12 years as a blind person some day as he was walking through the village of his parents it happened all of a sudden that he began to see red sands in his eyes and slowly slowly that sand falls down and he comes to see it again griffin told the reporters who came to interview him you do not know 
the experience of a man who never his own children as they saw them first surely i'll tell you they are more beautiful than i expected and i specialist explained to him that the blockage of blood into the optic vessels were cleaned up at that moment and that is how he could see this experience gives us a better understanding of the blind man who was cured by jesus how excited and how powerfully he got transformed through this experience but there is a second more miraculous experience that happens in the life of this blind man not just seeing getting the external sight for the eyes but internal insight for his mind this is a miracle of faith this is the grace of god that comes into him and jesus confers on this blind man perhaps john's significant expression is about this inner insight that this blind man received we notice in this gift it was not all of a sudden that it happened it takes step by step there is a progressive style of coming to the inner openness or inner insight of faith and commitment in this man first this blind man speaks about jesus that a man called jesus came and made a clay with spittle and pasted it on my eyes and asked me to wash yes he understood jesus as a man a man among men but this man had some peculiarity as he understood not just like any other men he was kind he was loving he was caring he was showing mercy towards him jesus was not a savior for him at that time but a man with great goodness H G Wells the well known historian was once asked to name the best or topmost person in history and he named Jesus as the person who is the topmost human person in history because of Jesus love towards others kindness towards others clarity of understanding clarity of principles and determination to do what he preaches to live what he professes and that great expression of divine love in the human context being exercised and experienced by jesus made him the best human person in the history of mankind in the second stage the blind man names jesus as a prophet when the pharisees asked him what do you think about this man who gave you this sight immediately he says he is a prophet prophet is the one who speaks for god prophet is the one who exercises the powers of god prophet is the one who relates us with god so in the second stage of his inner experience or inner insight he understands jesus not only just as a best man but a man of god a prophet finally the blind man comes to profess and proclaim the son of man as the pharisees ostracized him he felt bad he comes back to jesus and jesus asks him do you believe in the son of man he asks him to believe in him who you see where is he jesus tells him you have seen him the one who is talking with you immediately this blind man tells i believe the son of man that is the peak of faith we find that jesus gives to this poor beggar not just his physical blindness is warded off his mental emotional and spiritual blindness is taken off 
he comes to realize the goodness in the human nature the prophetic power in jesus the divine power in jesus this is a peculiarity of interacting and conversing with jesus as our interactions with jesus it may start with a kind of an alienated or distant relationship slowly we begin to listen to him get attracted get excited understand as a man with all the perfect qualities then a man of god with the divine connection and finally god himself this is a path of our faith that we want to live during this time of lent and come to the real full realization of the power of son of man within us and the power of son of man which has to be shared with other people in the world in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen